Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching for Rutek. We all know that Billy's OS is the most popular custom Android x86 project for PC and computers. And what if you guess this blissful OS for your Android device? Bliss few years back supported lots of devices, but now they are supporting few Android devices only. Nothing Phone One is one of that lucky devices which got its first official build of Bliss OS 16.7 Typhoon on 17th May 2023. Flashing of this ROM is simple, you can check the link of another custom ROM installation under the video description which has same installation process like Bliss OS. Just use the files given under the video description like boot, vendor underscore boot and ROM zip file. I already did the clean flash, today in this video we will see what's new gets in this ROM. We will see its about phone for complete analysis of its sources. I discussed uh, is it daily driver build or not. I gone through complete review of nothing was camera and glyph user interface. I did the performance and UI bench test to confirm its performance and stability. I also did one new test called as the screen test sampling rate testing. Finally at last I shown some bugs and issues. This ROM has one major issue that I have shown at the end of this video. And I also given my final verdict so watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. Phone started to boot into the OS with this amazing boot animation that I never seen in any custom ROM. From origin of custom ROM, Bliss developers created their legacy using this original Bliss boot animation. We have to do the clean flash so we need to complete the first time setup of the ROM. ROM booted to this stock Bliss wallpaper ROM comes with the launcher 3 version. It has lots of custom features that we will discuss in a features timestamp of the video. Let's like jump to the about phone. Here under the Bliss version it's showing this is the Bliss version 16.7. Bliss version code name is Typhoon. Bliss device is space war. This version is officially supported. But device maintainer name is not shown here. It will be found under the about Bliss application available in app drawer. Build date of this ROM is 16th May. Now let's check out the Android version section. Here it's showing this is the Android 13 with the same material clock listing. Android security patches of latest Swift May 2023. Kernel version is Pixis 5.4.233. But we didn't guess the tool chain details here. Kernel version is enforcing. So ROM is fully synchronized with the latest sources. Let's check out the performance of the ROM. This is the smoothest and fastest ROM I failed. Now all the custom ROMs from the paranoid Android, Pixis OS and this one too has the highest level of performance I ever seen in any of my device on which I tried the custom ROM. Apps opening, switching between applications, scrolling, swiping, playing games is the absolutely blissful as per the name of this ROM. To check the RAM management, I opened the one game Angry Birds and I will see if it will remain in a memory after completion of the performance test. ROM runs on the adapt to refresh rate mode by default, but if it enables the force 120Hz in the developer setting, device will constantly run on the 120Hz even for the video playback. Only while using the camera application it goes down to the 60Hz same like other custom ROMs. After running the Geekbench test, I got the score of 788 and 2704 for the single and multi-core. As compared to the other ROMs who tested till the date by ranking, I will rank this ROM as the third place in the Geekbench performance results. When I did the GPU graphics test, here I got the score of 2149 and 2417 for the OpenGL and Vulkan graphics respectively, which is nearly same like 90% of custom ROMs who tested for nothing phone one. So in terms of the performance, this ROM is really working outstanding like first top contenders like Paranoid, Pixis OS, Superior OS, Rising OS, etc. Now let's open the game application that we opened and kept in the background before running the test. And OMG, Angry Birds is still there, it's in a memory even after 10 minutes of intensive Geekbench test and lots of background running application. So it's confirmed that RAM management is also top notch for this ROM. Now let's do the new test first time I am trying on this device, that is the screen touch sampling rate, more the value, more the touch screen responsive rate, and ultimately faster will be the apps opening and gaming experience. 
Use the touch sampling tester application given under the video description to check your own device values. We have to swipe over the screen. On the left it will show us the input values and on the right it will show us the maximum touch sampling rate device screen produces. Here it's Ryzen from 250 to 333 which is good sign that ROM has the maximum touch sampling rate support. So definitely touch responsiveness and the gaming will be blissful for you on this custom ROM. Now we'll do our new test called as the UI Bench Jitter Test. I have given the link of UI Bench application under the video description. You can use that to test your own device jitter values. Less the jitter value below 0.5 millisecond, less will be jitter while scrolling and during in-app user interface for any application on your device. Open the application, tap on rendering, then tap on jitter. Here at the top it's showing the jitter values and it's fluctuating between 1 to 0.5 millisecond. Similarly, I tried to use some applications during the test and ran the jitter test in a background. When I return to UI Bench application, jitter values rise to the highest value above 3 milliseconds, which is not a good sign for consistent jitter values. Still, overall, you will not feel any kind of jitter during real life scrolling and in app uses. It's smooth like Ferrari. Now it's time to tell you do the ROM is really daily drivable build or not. I will not waste the time to show you all the functions one by one, I just tell you what's working. All the basic functions like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, auto brightness all are working fine. Both the fingerprint and face unlock are working very good. All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are also working good. All other important things like the mic, ear proximity, ear speaker, these things are also working perfectly. For detailed info what I tested in this section, please refer the video link given under the video description. All that things are working in this ROM. Let's check out the Nothing camera which comes inbuilt in this ROM. This camera has both the photos and video shooting are working. Photos mode has the 50 megapixel ultra HD mode. All ultra wide angle camera modes are working. Portrait mode for the both the front selfie and main camera is working perfectly. Portrait picture taken has accurate background blur effect. Video shooting mode has 180p 60fps and 4K recording. 4K didn't have 60fps recording option. 180p video shooting with the HDR mode is also working well. It has working ultra wide camera modes for the video shooting also. Video stabilization is working. Only camcorder light on the back of the phone is not working. So basically video shooting is working well in all segments. Slow motion shooting is working but we didn't find the recorded videos under the gallery. I think it's a bug for the slow motion. But time lapse video shooting is working well. Panorama mode and macro photo modes are working. Expert mode is working without any issues. Glyph flash is not working but the normal flash is working good. But to guess the glyph torch as a queer style in a quick setting panel. We have to just enable that tile and you can use that as a glyph flash. Overall camera is pretty stable except minor flaws. Now let's check out the signature feature of Nothing Phone 1 that is Glyph Light. We get the two tiles in the quick setting panel. One is the QS style for the glyph setting and another one is for the glyph torch. Under the glyph setting we get the, all the features like the grip brightness slider control, call animation, notification animation, battery level indicator, flip to glyph toggles. But now all the latest custom ROM added with the new music visualizer toggle. This will give us the new music visualization whenever we place any kind of music on your phone. But if this setting is toggled on, other settings didn't work. For call animation, who gets the bunch of the different glyph animation presets, but they didn't have any ring tones. So we have to use the stock ring tones of the device which are not synchronized with these animations. Call animation glyph is working well. Similarly for the notifications who case the bunch of different glyph presets but they are also not synchronized with the stock notification tones. Flip to glyph is working well without any issues. For other custom ROM it has issues it got stuck at different levels of animations. Battery level indicator has some bugs that we will check under the bug section of the video. The most important part is the safety net. It's getting passed during the Asnac safety net check. So you can use any banking or security application in this ROM. Storage of this ROM is encrypted. So no worry about stealing of your personal data on your locked device. Now let's start the review of the features available in this ROM. ROM has the call recording feature in a dialer without announcement. Who gets the recorded calls under the recording folder of the file manager.
Now let's check out the ROM exclusive features. ROM is highly customizable, but as this is the first initial build, some exclusive features are not added by the developers. Under the Blissify option, under the settings application, who gets all the features combined together with the well distinguished categories like animations, button gestures, lost screen, notifications, power menu customization, QS panel, status bar customizations, etc. If you are even first time user of the custom ROM, you will already know that what these all tabs offers for customizations. If you ask about the special features, then under display fingerprint unlock animations and icons are the different things here. Who gets some new Bliss OS icons for the fingerprint? It has the nice bunch of different unlock animations. Under the themes, who gets all the important theming options like Monet customizations with the different theme styles? Who gets the bunch of headlines, icons, signal, puff icon packs? Who also gets the pure black theme toggle here? ROM comes with the two different applications under the app drawer. One is new calculator which has unit converter and scientific calculator inbuilt. Another application is the About Bliss which has all the details regarding the Bliss OS like the device list which is maintained by the Bliss developers. All maintainers of device, our device maintainer is Ayan Saudari. Thanks to the all developers and maintainer Ayan for bringing such amazing blissful ROM for our device. ROM has all the wallpaper and style setting like themed icons, color section for the Monet themes and some other things. ROM comes with the launcher 3, here we guess all the basic functions like the theme icon and set background for the home screen dock application, double tap to sleep etc. We also guess the draw icon theming option and it's working too. All the recent buttons are available under the recent tab. Under the miscellaneous setting we get some advanced settings like parallel and the hidden protected applications. These advanced settings are tested and working good. So we discussed all the timestamps of the video. Now it comes the most important thing that is bugs and the issues. Watch this part till the end because I have shown most annoying bug of this ROM. First and the most common issue of all the custom ROM is DRM info showing the security level as L3. So we can't able to stream the Netflix or the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. ROM has the OTA updater but I think it's not working because when I tried to refresh the OTA, it's showing the error failure to check updates. Next bug is for the battery level indicator of the Glyph light. When you connect the cable, Glyph light pops up but if you keep the phone in a charging mode, this Glyph light continuously pops up again and again. It's a bug or feature I don't know but for stock nothing worse, it only pops up when you slightly move the phone during charging. Even after removal of cable, glyph light didn't turn off immediately, it takes some time to turn off the glyph light. ROM has the pixel unlimited backup for the Google Photos but it's not working, it's showing the notification regarding your device can backup unlimited photos but it also showing user storage and unuser storage for the Google Cloud account. The most annoying bug of this ROM is here, sometimes phones get totally unusable like it's got phase. It happens while using the camera and while surfing etc. To solve this issue you have to long press the power button to force reboot the phone. Then only phone will work fine. But this can again happens immediately after reboot. This happened with me 2 to 3 times in a whole day. Maybe it's a kernel panic developer should look into this issue seriously. Now if you ask me about what is your final verdict. I liked almost all the things of this ROM. It's boot animation, performance, touch sampling rate. RAM management, overall smoothness, minimal but essential customizations. But the bug of sudden freezing is so annoying that I honestly not recommend you to use this ROM for now. It's unbearable and happening with me first time with this ROM only. We have to wait for hotfix update and it will be available soon. Then I will update the download link of this video. Until then if you think this video helped you then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.